Come on. Come on, Kelly. Everybody thinks they're going to get a chance to punch some Nazi in the face at Normandy. I... And boom, we are live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, do not forget to subscribe. I go through movies, series, documentaries, all that jazz. Um, so today we're going over seven seconds. And this was, I believe, an eight-episode series. And it's starring Regina King. If you don't know Regina King, she was in she's in numerous movies. Um, but she is the pretty much the main character throughout this, and she has a son who is on his way to school. I'm gonna try and relieve or alleviate you from spoilers, pretty much. So I'm gonna try anyways. So Regina King's character's son on the way to school. She's also a teacher herself. Uh, happens to be hit by this um police officer who wasn't paying attention it was just a sheer manslaughter accident well this police officer happens to call his um comrades and they come over and they're like hey this looks terrible he is a young black man and you just hit him with your car while he was riding your bike this looks like a hate crime so we're going to take care of this and we're going to hide it and this guy's like what are you doing no definitely we got to tell people what happened they're like there's no there's no way people are going to believe you and be like so after you get uh, after you get past that plot point then they hide the body and everything, and then um, she he's hanging on by a dear thread of life, and I don't want to spoil anything really too much besides that, but then the chaos ensues, and all the plot points are unfold where you're trying to, where there's this um, uh, compromised lawyer. She's uh, a bit of a lush, and so she happens to take on this case of this missing, or this boy who was... Uh, pretty much left for dead so that's all those things intertwine uh in between all either and the cop okay so between the cops and the lawyers and the poor son's family so they all intertwine and i liked this show it was a it ran pretty long it was pretty much like a long law and order episode like everything was done well everything was all the acting was good. Everything was very believable. Um, these The cops were a bit of a... They just jumped to a conclusion that I don't think would have been very necessary. But anyways, so they... But it just ran long. And one of the plot points that I didn't really like, you kind of had to wait for everybody else in the show. You're like ahead of the game the entire time of this show. So you're sitting there and you're like, hey, yeah, these people did this. And then you just kind of wait and wait and wait for the pretty much the inevitable thing to happen that is pretty well foreseeable. So it was an all right show for me. Um, I think I think if it was just condensed a little bit, it would have been a little bit better. There's a few plot points that could have been just alleviated and removed um, in their entirety. And it would have been a better show all around but it by no means was a bad show i think it was um good television or good streaming i guess you'd say now but so yeah that was seven seconds um i would recommend it if you like law and order and if you, if you like that type of thing and if you want a very long series to kind of get immersed into i think this is actually a good show to do that because you do get immersed into it a lot of the character um development is very deep i think i I would say uh, the most I'd ever seen probably within a Netflix Netflix series itself, like just giving you all information um, about pretty much everybody. Is it the darkest? I think it's pretty dark, but I don't think it's darker than Ozark. If you hadn't seen Ozark, that's a very dark series. That's a Netflix original as well. I don't think it's as dark as this, but it's pretty, it's pretty dour. So I would, I would recommend it if you kind of like that as long as you – can handle uh some some pretty tragic events so so yeah i would check it out if you'd like that seven seconds please don't forget to subscribe and review us on itunes that would be amazing if you can review us on itunes i would deeply deeply appreciate it you could also uh there's a million links in the description if you want to donate uh you go to streamlabs.org i believe forward slash american movie podcast the links down in the description i'll double check and uh, this is also brought to you by Audible. You can get a free Audible trial. You get two free books, and you can just get those for free if you cancel the subscription. So all you need to do is sign up for that, and you get two free books, and that's it. And you don't—you're not obligated to spend the 15 bucks a month, but it is 15 dollars a month. 
And uh, also brought to you by foreverlean.com. You can get to the Simply Shredded uh, program or the Platinum Physique program. Check those out. Uh, Summer's coming. If you want to build muscle, that's the way to go. If you want to cut fat, the Simply Shredded program is the way to go. Um, Also brought to you by Onnit. Those links are in the description. Um, So, yeah, that was seven seconds. Pretty crazy show. Uh, so thank you so much. Until next time, bye 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 bye. Round one. Come on. Oh whoa! Hey, come on! Come on! Come on, Kelly! Everybody thinks they're gonna get a chance to punch some Nazi in the face at Normandy. I used to think I was gonna get a chance to do it. Now I realize I'm gonna be eating Jello. Come on, we're men. We're not pinatas. To be honest, I'm not sure he really is a dog. Please don't take a turn to negative town. What are you talking about? Who's getting negative? You're unbelievable. Judas!